Hey Storyteller! If you've been writing for any length of time, chances are you've heard or read the term character arc. But what is a character arc, and does your story really need one? Finding information or explanations about this can be tricky, because most articles on character arcs I've found contain mostly theory and fluff wrapped in literary jargon. So in this week's writer coaching session, we're going to discuss the character arc, all three types, that is, and examine whether you need one for your story. Hi, I'm Bridget from B Squared Writer Coaching. I'm an author, editor, and your story coach, here to help you make your story powerful, polished, and publishable, so you can move readers and help them experience your character's journey with maximum emotional impact. First, I have a gift for you just for visiting my channel, my real method to creating unforgettable characters. A solid character arc will help you forge a connection between readers and your protagonist, but your character still needs to be memorable. And what about all the secondary and minor ones? This PDF will help you bring all your characters to life, make them three-dimensional, in four easy-to-follow steps, without the need to write all those boring character biographies. Just click the link in the description or visit b2writercoaching.com slash real. That's the letter B. The number two, writercoaching.com slash real, R-E-A-L, to download your copy today. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video for this week's Power Up, a super practical action step you can use right away in the story you're working on. A great story plunges your protagonist into terrible trouble right away, turns up the heat, and causes him or her to change, grow, or cause growth and change in others. That is the very definition of a character arc. Every reader can relate to a flawed character who faces obstacles that force him or her to grow stronger or become a better person, or that empower him or her to inspire such change in others. Many teachers on the writing craft and authors will agree that every story needs some kind of character arc. But why? Well, a character arc gives the story purpose, pacing, and context for your reader. It is the framework for the journey you're taking your character and your reader on during the story. At its heart, story is about change. A story actually begins with change, a change in circumstances or your character's situation that affects him or her personally. A character arc shows what happens to your character or because of the actions your character takes as a result of this initial change. Now let's examine each of the three types of character arc using the five main components of story, inciting incident, increasing complications, turning point, climax, and resolution. I'll explain each of these as we go through them for the types of character arc. The three types of character arc are a positive arc, a static arc, and a negative arc. We'll examine the two most common character arcs first, positive and negative, and then end with the static character arc. When your protagonist struggles to overcome a fear, flaw, or false belief, and by the end of the story becomes a better person, we have a positive character arc. When the inciting incident occurs in the story with a positive character arc, this means that something shakes up your character's ordinary world and plunges him or her into negative or undesirable circumstances or forces him or her to take an action he or she wouldn't normally take. Then, as complications arise and increase, your character will face conflicts and dilemmas that do one or more of the following. Those complications force her to realize she must change in order to reach the goal, though she resists this change at first. They challenge his or her false belief and sometimes true beliefs as well. Or they force him or her to reveal something from the past or a secret. This reveals to the reader why the protagonist clings to a fear, flaw, or false belief, although your protagonist isn't ready to change that yet or to face that fear or false belief. During the turning point of the story, your character takes steps to confront the flaws or fears that she has been facing, and also takes a more active role in pursuing the goal than before, instead of just reacting to circumstances that the story's throwing at her. During the climax, something forces the protagonist to face the truth and the antagonist, and the obstacles the protagonist has faced throughout the story have given him or her an advantage, taught her things that will allow her to overcome the antagonist or finally face the problem head on. During the resolution, we see how your protagonist has changed for the better or changed other people for the better. 
If you're finding this helpful so far, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss future writer coaching sessions. Now on to negative character arcs. This occurs when our protagonist holds on to a flaw, false belief, or negative desire long enough that it causes his or her downfall by the end of the story. During these stories, the inciting incident shakes up the protagonist's world again, but this time it leads your protagonist to pursue a negative goal or desire that could be harmful to himself or others in order to overcome the circumstance he finds himself in. As complications increase, your protagonist faces conflicts and dilemmas that force himself to take actions that seem promising, but will ultimately cause a negative change within the character. These complications will rattle the character's beliefs just as they do for the positive character arc, but this character clings to the false beliefs and negative desires despite these challenges. In The Turning Point, the protagonist faces an undeniable reality, but stubbornly throws him or herself deeper into pursuing the negative desire despite knowing better. In The Climax, the protagonist reaches a breaking point, but chooses to pursue the negative desire with reckless abandon. In the resolution, we see that the protagonist has either achieved the goal in a surprising twist, despite all his efforts to the contrary, or fails to achieve anything. Either scenario leads to a tragic ending, often involving the protagonist's death or the death of someone he or she loves, or another kind of ending, like the ending of a relationship the protagonist has fought hard to maintain, or the death of a dream. This can include banishment, the irrevocable loss of a career, or reputation, or even sanity. When the character's morals and beliefs are challenged, but she holds true to who she is through the end, we have a static character arc. Other characters or the society will often change as a result of this character's actions, but she remains the same. Think of James Bond or the protagonist in most detective series. Anything that has an episodic feel to it, think of TV series where the character doesn't have an overarching arc. The character, like James Bond, for example, just continues to complete missions and save the day by the end, but he remains his suave self, not really changing in any significant way. The detective in, the, in one of these stories might remain a loner and as hard-edged as when the story began, but other people are changed as a result of his actions. The case gets solved, or the people involved become stronger and more capable of handling things for themselves because of their association with this protagonist. It doesn't have to be a negative thing either. Your protagonist may be a character with fantastic morals and the story tries to shake that, but he or she remains strong throughout. Maybe think of superheroes, for example. Superman doesn't really change. The people around him might, but he stays the same throughout solving all these problems that he faces and saving the world. He remains committed to truth, justice, and the American way, but the people around him may become better people because of what they've seen him do or what he has done for them. In the inciting incident for a static character arc, something happens that turns your protagonist's world upside down or forces him to take action to alleviate a negative circumstance. For example, the detective gets a new case, uh, someone convinces him to take the case, or James Bond finds out that there's some new threat to the world, or your superhero needs to step in and save the day because someone is in danger. Then your protagonist is forced into, or chooses to accept, a new adventure filled with unavoidable conflicts and dilemmas. By the turning point, this protagonist has gained new skills, learned new lessons, acquired new weapons or allies, some kind of new tools that enable him or her to change the stakes. And now he or she is actively engaged in confronting the conflicts and moving toward the possible defeat of the antagonist. Think of this as your character going on the offensive instead of just playing defense. Then the climax happens. After suffering a major defeat or a breaking point, your protagonist manages to find a spark of hope or opportunity to face the final showdown with the antagonist or confront the problem once and for all. In the resolution, we see that the bad guys were defeated, the problem was overcome, and our hero stands firm in his or her truth. And I have a bonus tip for you related to memoir. If you're writing a nonfiction short story or memoir, you've probably been wondering this whole time, well, how do I create a character arc for a character during events that really happened? 
Well, this is more about discovering the character arc than it is about creating it. Consider how the events in the segment of life depicted in this story affected you or whoever the character is you're writing about. That is, how the events affected this person internally. Did they force you to grow or change in some way for the better? Then you have a positive character arc. Did they lead to bad decisions or harmful actions that left you bitter or ruined some aspect of your life? That would be a negative character arc. Or did they force you to take a stand, stay true to your beliefs, and overcome something in a way that inspires others? Then you have a static character arc. If you haven't done so already, be sure to download your real method to creating unforgettable characters. Remember, just click the link in the description or visit b2writercoaching.com slash real to download your copy. This week's power up comes in two parts. The first one is for you if you don't yet know what your protagonist's character arc is. The second one is for writers who know which character arc they're trying to show but aren't sure if they're quite achieving it. If you're not sure which kind of arc to give your protagonist, start by writing down what his or her main goal is. What, is, what does she want most and why? And also what's keeping her from achieving that? Then consider whether the story and its themes will be conveyed more powerfully if she achieves it or fails. Does she become a better or stronger person by the end? Or do you want to show her sliding deeper into a negative or harmful behavior or state of mind? And finally, does she inspire or cause change in others instead of in herself? Depending on which of those three you choose, you've found your character arc. If you know which kind of character arc you want to depict but aren't sure if you're achieving it, Feel free to watch this video again and take notes on what happens in each of the five components of story for your protagonist during that specific kind of arc. Then look back through your story, at least what you've written so far and if you're plotting what you've plotted so far, to make sure you're achieving all of those things for your protagonist at the appropriate time in the story for that event. Even if you're not a plotter, planning these five things out ahead of time can really help you stay true to that character arc that you've chosen for your protagonist. Another factor that can help or hinder a reader in connecting with your protagonist is the way in which the story is narrated, also known as point of view. What are the choices in terms of point of view and how can you decide which is best for your story and your character? We'll delve into all of that in next week's writer coaching session. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss it. It's important to keep conflicts and dilemmas escalating throughout your story to make sure the thread of your character arcs is staying true. So check out this video on how you can use conflicts and dilemmas in every scene of your story. Another tool that can help you establish a strong connection between your reader and your character is the use of character voice. For more on that, watch this video. And until next time, let's power up your storytelling.